love letters to Kelly. I Here, Kelly, you are the love expert. Yes, I am. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> good. I, I, yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm great. We thought you were going first. And Don't you always go first, yeah. JC? Oh, I do. Why aren't Yeah. Um, I, I'm broken. We're. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like. I was like you know, you're looking at me like I'm. Fucking... You know what? I'm broken today. You're Kelly. You're the love expert. I am. I'm staring at Al over here. I've been listening to the Kid Paddock Morning Show since I was a little girl, and now I'm in my 30s. And I know exactly what you're going to say to my letter, but I need to ask. Okay. Very recently, my ex-boyfriend broke up with me just days before our anniversary. It was out of the blue, and I was devastated. We had just talked about uh, getting engaged later this year, and we were on track to buy a house in a month. We had this perfect relationship in every way possible. This threw me into a deep depression. For weeks, I felt numb and then started working on myself. And after some time, my ex came back around and we started talking again. We talked about our expectations from this relationship and decided to try again. But a couple of days later, I found out that he had a physical encounter while we were broken up with a girl he'd known from a local place he visits. While I was crying myself to sleep, Kelly, for weeks, he was out feeding his ego and getting his needs met with some random girl. Kelly, to say this hurt worse than my breakup is an understatement. I understand that during a breakup, I shouldn't be mad at what happens, but I can't get over the fact that just days after saying he wanted to spend the rest of his life with me and buy a house with me, he was already trying to sleep with someone else. Do you think relationships can be saved after knowledgeable things like this come out? Am I wasting my time on, on a man who would rather feed his ego than work on his relationship? By the way, he has no idea I know about this side quest of his, and I thought that if I brought it up, I wouldn't stop crying to him. Please help me. Heartbroken and lost. Well, yes, I do think a relationship can survive this, but you have to find a way to get past it. And I think the first thing would be to tell him what you know, because he's going to think you're just acting like a nut and what's happened, something's changed and you're not telling him. And he's just going to think this isn't what I want anymore because you're so upset and this is this is absolutely going to affect your relationship. So I think if you have any chance of it moving forward, you're going to have to tell him and have a conversation about it. And then you have to decide whether you can get over it or not. Some people cannot get over being, and I don't think he was cheating. Probably what happened was he panicked because here he came with this very real decision. I've either got to poop or get off the pot, as people say. And he decided I'm going to get off. And then he went out and I guess just, you know, it's like when uh, somebody gets a divorce. You know, I went a little crazy after my divorce. Ow, everybody. We all go a little crazy yeah. after yeah. that. Yeah, you do. And, you know, then you realize, oh, man, that's not what I wanted after all. The best thing was there for me, and you try to go back. But if you're not willing to forgive him, then you're just going to have to let him go. But he has to know. Yeah. You're not even te- you're not yeah. even giving him a chance to apologize or to not that he, does he need to? I don't know. Yeah. Some people th- would think he would, or at least because this isn't a, even it's as not even Ross a break. Said, we were on a break to make a They broke up. This is a full. Amends. He yeah. broke up with you. Yeah. So you're going to have to come clean with your knowledge first of all. Yeah. Well, I'm so and sorry. You're heartbroken you feel about it. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. But it can't. You can get past it, but you've both got to work on it. If you want to look at the bright side, at least he broke up with you, didn't cheat on you, and then he right. realized I, I want her back. Yeah, this I guess isn't what wanna, I want. Yeah. You know? So maybe that's the bright side of yeah. it. Yeah. Love letters. Love letters to Kelly. Dear Kelly, you're the love expert. I am. I want you to put on your tough love hat, okay, Uh-oh. Kelly? Tough love. I've been with my boyfriend for seven years, and I thought everything was going great, and we were both happy. I caught him in the past on dating sites or talking to other girls on there. He told me he was bored, so he was just looking for a new friend to talk to. (laughs) Yeah, right. Blow that smoke up someone else's butt. We argued about it, and I told him how it made me feel. I thought we had moved past that, but I guess I was wrong. We went to our favorite karaoke bar shout-out this past Friday, and before we left, he must have given his number to the female bartender. Because before we could pull out of the parking lot, she called and asked what his name was so she could save it. He played dumb. He hung up. But immediately texted her and told her his name and then proceeded to have a conversation with her. When I asked who he was texting at 2 a.m., he said no one. He was trying to get on Facebook with the text. Well, he was trying to get on Facebook with the text still open. I grabbed his phone. But he took it back before I could fully read the conversation. I kicked him out of the truck and drove home alone. When we got home, he turned the electricity off at the breaker box so I wouldn't have lights or TV. 
He woke up the next morning apologizing for being a blanket to blank, and he doesn't remember what he did. He still hadn't told me the truth about who he was texting, and now he's changed his password to his phone, which makes him look even more guilty. My gut tells me, Kelly, that I deserve better, but my heart says you love him, so try to work it out. Should I stay or should I go? Please help, Lauren. Go. Love letters. <laughs> love letters to Kelly. Dear Kelly, you are the lover. <laughs> I am. I'm writing today because I feel lost. I've been with my husband for 13 years, uh, 10 married. We have two beautiful girls, but we have been through some really bad times. When I was pregnant with my youngest, I found weird numbers on our phone bill from weird times of the night. And when I searched them, it came up as escort pages. Mm. I contacted one of the people, and she sent me screenshots of messages sent, but assured me that they never met up. Oh. Well, that's not a good escort right there. <laughs> he was, I mean, seriously. <laughs> what is that? Girl power? <laughs> he was asking for pictures and videos, but there wasn't any proof of meeting up with them. And he convinced me, I was in denial, that it wasn't him and that the times were wrong and that his friend at work was using his phone. Fast, fast forward six years, I found more numbers. Oh. I tried to contact the person, but they didn't reply. And he's trying to convince me once again that it wasn't him and that he isn't seeking that. He is, however, accusing me of having someone else in the picture because I threatened divorce because I feel betrayed and hurt. We were going through fertility treatment to have another child. And I know there isn't proof of him doing laundry, but how do I get over this? I can't forgive and forget. Do I need to just call it quits or should I try to trust him? I felt really hurt and that I just think that there's something about this that makes me not want to trust him at all and I can't move past it. Please help. Well, I'd stop trying to make another baby with him until y'all get to the bottom of this and, and that's going to... Re- He's lying to you, obviously. Yeah. It, we, we're not it dumb. Could be a not very good. It could be we're not a friend at work. Yeah, right. Wow. Twice. No, he's obviously lying to you. I was Messi- trying to buy a Ford Escort, baby. <laughs> yeah, right. Even if he hasn't seen them, he's still messing with them. And yeah. maybe, I don't know, but you, you know, you're know, you going to have to get into marriage counseling, therapy, whatever, because the trust is broken here. And I wouldn't keep making babies with him until y'all get that resolved. And now he's trying to blame you as... Yeah, yeah, that's what happens. When you're guilty of doing something, you start accusing the other. It's that whole projection thing. But yeah, so he's accusing you of what he's guilty of doing. Right, yeah. If, even if he's not physically cheating, this is not how a man that's supposed to love you and be a, the father figure that, you know the upstanding man in your family should act so mm. y'all got a lot to work to do if you decide to stay and if you do decide to stay i mean you're gonna have to have some boundaries where you know passwords are shared and things like that i mean man i'm glad i don't have to live in a relationship yeah. with all that That's but tough. it that depends on how bad you want to keep it together all right let's do one last quick one love letters Love letters to Kelly. Dear Kelly, you're the, you are the love expert. I am. My husband has been asked to dance with his best friend's daughter at her wedding. His best friend committed suicide some years ago. Aww. She just wants part of her dad at her beautiful day. He's not doing the daddy-daughter dance. She has a grandpa and a stepdad. But we are struggling to find the appropriate song. I know this doesn't fit the typical letter you get, but this is about a special love. I'm a longtime listener looking to y'all for some music inspiration Aww. on this special day for a special young lady who has experienced a lot uh, in her young age. I, y'all should have given me some time oh. to think about. If you have one, JC, well, I'd just one that one, one that popped into my head right away just right. from you reading this letter was is that Kelly Clarkson Piece by Piece song. Hmm, piece by piece. How does that one go? It's the piece by piece. He but that's written up. to her stepfather. It's, re- it's written to the stepfather. But, but it's, didn't it's, she say he has? No, he has a. Se- yeah, she has a stepdad and grandpa. So this is between the friend, the dad's friend, and just her. the dad's friend. Uh-huh. So yeah, as like yeah. a tribute to the dad. Yeah. Yes. We might revisit. Ooh. That. Yeah. I don't. I don't. We um, thought, yeah, or, or we can go to Kid can, Nation. Doc, uh, Kid Nation and see if you guys yeah, have any ideas. Uh, yeah. Th- or I'm, that, or you can go to find out what. The, the late father's favorite song was mm-hmm. or artist, you know, or artist, or artist or something, and that might give you a, a launching pad. What what his favorite song would have been? Because if she does want a piece of her dad there in the form of a friend, she would maybe also want a piece of her dad there in the form of his favorite song. There you go. Yeah. So that's where I would start looking. Oh, mm-hmm. at the it's, the wedding already happened. It was April twenty second. Well, oh. then now it's too late. Now well, we want to know what the I'm song was. That was a waste. Song they yeah, yeah, maybe we can reach out and see what they did pick. And see. Oh, well. Because maybe it'll give an idea for somebody else. But if you do want to write our love expert, Kelly Raspberry, you could do it. This is going to happen again on Wednesday. Loveletterstokelly.com is where you do that. Today's episode was sponsored by our friends at Worthy. Yes, if you are looking to make a big decision like selling a diamond, you need to go 
with the company you trust, the experts at this. This is all they do, and that would be worthy. So if you've got a diamond you're not wearing, maybe it's got bad energy on it, or it's just not your taste anymore, maybe a luxury watch, contact worthy.com slash kid to schedule a free, fully insured, fully secured pickup at no cost to you. Worthy's gemologist will evaluate your pieces, helping you understand their actual worth in today's market. You are in control of everything that happens. You set the reserve price you want as the items are put up for bid. You approve the winning bid, and then you get paid. But if your item doesn't go for what you want, you don't have to sell. Worthy will send them back to you, still fully insured, never at a cost to you. Worthy has over 2,500 five-star reviews on Trustpilot. They've got my five-star review as well. And for a limited time, get an extra $100 when your jewelry sells for over $1,500. Register at worthy.com slash kid, worthy.com slash K-I-D-D. Tomorrow on the Kid Craddock Morning Show. You asked us the question, does that make me crazy at 720 Central? And we're playing Big Money. What is that at 730 Central? And the jackpot is $2,000. Sign up now at KidNation.com for bonus clues. And our buddy part-time Justin is going to turn up your Tuesday at 820 Central. Turn up! That's tomorrow on the Kid Craddock Morning Show. On the Kid Craddock Morning Show. Over. 